Thanks, guys. I'm here with Alice Lee, who just drew her game against Tarov Abrahamian and advances as well to the next stage. Alice, congrats. Thank you. Um, how was today's game? Uh, felt pretty complicated? Yeah, I thought it went pretty smoothly. Um, like, from the opening, I knew that it was around equal. Um, but I did have to, like, calculate some variations. Um, actually, after the game, I talked to my opponent, and she said that she prepared up to, like, move 18, so... Um, I was pretty surprised and... Oh, in this position, in this line, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so knight f1, knight g3, and you were already on your own here, you are thinking. Yeah, so after, actually I didn't prepare rookie one, I was looking at like more of queen c2, uh, a move 10. Um, but yeah, so then after here, um, I think rook d8 was probably correct, um, it makes the most sense. Um, yeah, but after knight f1, actually here was where I had to calculate because originally when I was looking at knight takes e5, mm -hmm. um, I was worried that she could take on e5. Mm -hmm. um, and what I, I was originally calculating queen takes e5 and I thought like f3, um, bishop c5, bishop e3, queen g5, but then I saw like she has h4. Um, and I didn't really like this position that much and it was pretty complicated. But then I saw after knight takes e5, um, I could play queen takes f2 and then king h1, queen f6. And I think this um, is probably better for black because it's knight f2 and also mm -hmm. the knight on e5 is hanging. Um, so that was mainly, the I think, the point of the game where I spent the most time. Um, but after that, I think it was pretty smooth. Um, I did have to see that here, uh, queen, bishop takes e3 was incorrect after, instead of queen g5 because I think uh, after queen g5 here, then there's queen c1. And right. I'm running into some discovered pins with... Once the like, knight moves, yeah, yeah there's rookie, rookie eight. eight. Um, yeah, so then I saw that, and then I realized that queen g5 should probably still work. And then it went into this end game, which is pretty, uh, I think, comfortable for black. Like, white has some compensation, but I don't think either side has too much. Yeah, uh, so you felt pretty comfortable in holding this one from here. Yeah. Um, great. Well, it looks like you're playing uh, Begum in the next round. I want to ask, uh, do you have any strategy for, let's say, adjusting from the classical to the rapid portion of these matches? Uh, no, this is a completely new format for me. So, um, I mean, I have played like in this where after the classical game, I went into tiebreak. So I guess it's kind of similar to that, um, except where it's like not tiebreaks, it's actually like part of the match. So, um, but mainly I just, there's not that much time in between games, so I don't really have time to go back um, to prepare. So um, usually I do have like look at lines a bit in between games, but I can't really do too much because there's not much time. Um, and yeah, so, but I don't really have too much of a strategy. I just, uh, I mean, I just try not to stress too much about it and like try to take a walk in between games. So uh, to clear my head. Okay, great. Well, we'll let you get some rest and best of luck in your next match. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Our congratulations, Alice Lee, indeed. And